hi guys welcome back to my channel this is a papa kitchen i hope everybody is doing amazing today as you can see i had a lot a lot a lot of questions about how i pack my mortar and pistol okay that is wardrobe and warmer so i had so many requests like people want me to do a tutorial about how i pack my pistol and mortar and because I love you guys, you guys are so dear to me. <laughs> so I am here to show you how I packed my mortar and pistol. Because I know I had a lot of people who has been going to Ghana and they want me to do how or show them how I packed my mortar. So as you can see guys, I am going to show you right here in a minute. So if you are a subscriber, Thank you so much for sticking to Obapa. If you're a new subscriber, I'm just going to say welcome to my channel. This is Obapa Kitchen. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you are a return subscriber, you are welcome back. Okay? Obapa, dear. Ubu fumi nao sa hoba. Mesaj wa wa tu. Why? So, guys, let me tell you this. We are living in abroad. Okay? And so what? You are a pure, typical Ghanaian. Okay, so which means say your roots still lives in you. So if you are there and you feel like, oh, I traveled a lot to Africa or I travel a lot to Ghana, I want to feel like I want to bring my own stuff. Okay, don't feel shy, don't be scared, bring it. Okay, as long as you can take it, that is what you need. Okay, you don't have to worry about anything because we are here, we work hard, we suffer, we have to eat healthy. Okay, so if you are gonna bring your mortar and pistol it's amazing you know you're gonna be blessed because you can make your own fufu you can make your own panda yam you can make your own cocoa yam fufu what else cassava and plantain fufu you can make it your own fleshly made or papa is here to encourage you guys to eat healthy to cook nice and also to eat healthy okay no more junk food so enough of the talk let's go ahead to the video Alright guys, so as you can see, I got some three luggage right here, okay? So when you go and you buy your luggage, of course we all know it is three sets. Sometimes it's four, depending where you buy yours. But when I bought this luggage, it was three like this, okay? So this one is the little, this one is the next one, and this is the biggest, okay? So if you are going to Ghana, you can use this one as 50 pounds okay and this one too as 50 pounds so when i was coming back from ghana i had this too as my luggage okay which means that this was 50 pounds this was 50 pounds if you have a different luggage that is close to this you can still pack it but no matter how big your luggage is it has to be 50 pounds no more than that of course i decided to bring my own equipment, a lot of stuff that I want to bring. So I decided to pack my clothes, my husband's clothes in this one bag. And then when I pack our clothes, there was still space in this luggage right here. So I don't know the kind of luggage that you're using, but I'm using this as an example so you guys will see it. So I packed my husband's clothes and my clothes in this one. And even there was still more space that I hooked some tin to mantles and you know, and spice in this one. I'm gonna take this one out. Next, it's gonna left with this one because this one is more taller and longer. So I decided to use this one for the mortar and pistol. Why? I'm gonna show you in a minute. All right, guys. So as you can see, this is the luggage right here. I hope everybody can see it. So what I did is that I opened it you okay this is how big the inside is so if you are going to bring mortar and pistol tell them that the mortar they have to do with a medium size because you want it to fit in your luggage just explain it to them and let them know and tell them that you don't want it too big you want a medium size okay guys you understand right with my uh with my pistol this is what I did. This is how short the pistol is. You see? Before it used to be like that. Like uh like this. I don't know if you guys can see it. But 
I let them cut it so it can fit my luggage. You know what I mean? This you can still use it to pan the fufu. Yeah, because it's even easy. You can even do it yourself. Because when it comes, you have to do it yourself anyway. That's what I did. So let me show you. I put some clothes inside the luggage. Okay? And then I use we all know this trash bag. If you have trash bag, you can use this kind of bag. If you don't have it and you have the or plastic wrap bag, and you can use that. If you don't have it, you can use this trash bag or you can use the black polythene bag, okay? Because you want to cover your mortar. So let me show you. So this is my mortar right here. So I put them in this bag. and then I tied it up like that you know you see that we have more space okay you have to make sure you tie it up if you have a better bag or you know something better to tie this you can but this is how I did it my so I'm gonna let them straight like that just like that guys I hope you guys can see it or if it doesn't fit you can do it too so I put them like that you see like that and then you just lay down lay down like this let me show you see that guys it will lay down flat okay so if you have clothes inside it's gonna lay down on the clothes okay so you have your luggage you have your mortar you have your pistol okay and then you close it if everything is full you close it so you can see this is my luggage right and then you pack it, you are good to go, you know what I mean? So I can even lift that for you guys to see. You see, it is not even heavy. You see that the mortar and the pistol together, it is not that heavy, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it here. And I'm just gonna thank you so much for watching. I hope now you know how I packed my mortar and pistol. Feel free, if you can bring that same fabula, if you can bring pistol and mortar, even the one that we use to pound the how do you call it abe it will not the box you cannot get it here no make sure guys you bring it okay they won't take it away from you as long as it's not a bad stuff, they won't take it from you, okay? So I hope everybody enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. When they cry well and by force. Oko gana me sifa, we drain on my shop back in black. When you bring it, make sure you tie the bumper too, okay? So I know that. Yeah, you brought it. And I'll be very, very proud of you. Like I said, no. Chao man so no woman luggage in your pet. If I shim, no more than so video, if I shim black. So don't forget to subscribe to Obapa. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. Okay? Now we'll be here. So we're going to be here. We'll be here. We'll be So don't tell me that, guys, you are going to Ghana and you cannot bring your own mortar and pesto. Make your own fufu. Eat fresh. Okay? <laughs> that is what it is about.